Yo guys, I just just get back with another video. Last year I have uploaded a video comparing the world's most powerful browsers, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. I compared both the browsers by performing lots and lots of benchmarks, testings and things and for that video I got literally burned down to hell by some of the Firefox fanboys. In that video there is a part called a stress testing where I loaded 20 tabs in both the browsers and checked how those browsers are holding up against the 20 tabs. And recently I plan to fuel up that stress testing game a little bit. So in this video I'm going to open not 20 not 30 but a total of 100 tabs in both the browsers and I'm going to check which one is gonna hold longer. So now is the time to roast my CPUs and RAM sticks in my PCs. So raise your souls and get ready for the 100 tab browser challenge. <laughs> I started off the 100 tab challenge with Google Chrome first. I had Google Chrome open on one window and all the 100 links to be open on the other window. And all these 100 links are not just simple web pages, they are not just simple websites. Some of them are really complex web pages with lots and lots of background scripts, dynamic styling scripts running in the background and some of these web pages will put both the browsers under extreme stress. In the 100 tab testing part, I will open a 1080 pixel video, one of my videos that will be playing in the background and then I will open SoundCloud and I will play a series of music at the background and with the video running and the audio running I will be opening the other 98 plus tabs. This is going to be an extremely bumpy ride for both the browsers. Before starting let us have a look at the vitals of my system. When it comes to the RAM I have 16 gigs of RAM in my PC and at idle mode that is without opening the 100 tabs the RAM consumption is around 2.5 to 2.6 gigs. The CPU CPU utilization is around 4 person. I will display all these things at the end of the challenge that is after opening all the 100 tabs. So now let's kill Google Chrome. Some of the links at the first stages are simple web pages like uh, Google search, Google images, YouTube and things and after opening the web pages I have scrolled down to check whether they are loading all the components or not and at the initial stages Google Chrome performed well. It loaded all the images, all the components, all the dividers and things and it's perfect. And I thought that Google Chrome will lag a bit after playing the 1080p video. And even after opening that 1080p video, Google Chrome hadn't shown even a single bit of lag. And as mentioned earlier, some of the web pages are extremely complex. And some of the web pages included high definition images, some of the web pages included moving GIFs and things. And even having that 1080 pixel video playing at the background, Google Chrome handled all the tabs with all the images and things pretty well. I scrolled till the end and all the components are perfect loaded and all the images are perfectly loaded and I've noticed that Google Chrome took the challenge pretty well And at the halfway mark, I had Google I.O. developers official website and even the animation lines giggling around inside, Google Chrome took it well. I thought it's 50 tabs, so Google Chrome is gonna lag or it's gonna display or it's gonna reveal some hiccups. To my surprise, even after 50, 60 tabs, Google Chrome is like breaking all the bounds, it's like crossing all the limits. I tried to do something really stressful. 
that is running speed test so i opened oclasspeedtest.net and i ran a speed test and you know speed test first it downloads some files then it uploads downloads again uploads and it conducts series of testings and that is how speedtest.net measures your internet speed and even in that stressful situation google chrome exposed no weakness it acted as if i have opened only two or three tabs and in that 100 website or web pages link the 70th link is google's recently developed mobile friendly checking platform or something uh, it actually analyzes a website and returns a report whether that website is mobile friendly or not it downloads the website downloads all the web scripts and things so it takes a long time it utilizes lots and lots of resources and things even then you know it's just google chrome thing work perfectly then i opened two of my poorly designed non-optimized web pages and as they are non-optimized google chrome exposed some kind of weakness it hiccup to load some images so it's not completely the browser's fault it's actually i'm a lousy web developer so i continue the test i really expected google chrome to throw a blue screen of death exception or some kind of broken thing at the end but google chrome handled it pretty well after opening 75 plus tabs at the 77th place i had a google slide that is it's like a powerpoint opened inside your browser it has lots and lots of web components and even to move one slide component from one position to another it needs to run a script at the background i tried to move a component inside that google slide and it worked with no lags and next i open google fonts which is like a central repository collection of large thousands of fonts open source fonts which can be used in your own web project or software development project and that needs to display lots and lots of fonts they are not just images they are textual fonts and for displaying those different fonts your browser actually has to download all the font files from the server side and it has to display all that content in that font format so and i expected it to expose a little bit of lagginess but no so i continued i continued and continued So in this test test to test the graphical performance of both the browsers I had some links collected from the web and I got two to three links which are extremely rich websites in that I had a website it displays some kind of moving canvas on the top and some extremely animated components at the bottom it requires lots and lots of styling scripts and the browser took it really smooth and the next link is like a web presentation so this is not a simple kind of video it's like web components dynamically changing from one form to another and i tried changing the options some of the other options try to switch between one species to another still it's it acted as if i open only a single tab it never showed even a single bit of lag or weakness so it's perfect and even at the end after opening 100 tabs google chrome acted normal no issues no force closings no blue screen of death no burnings no roastings so now it's time to display the vitals and after opening 100 tabs uh, you can take a look at the task manager and the nzxt cam software it consumed around 10.6 gigs of ram it's high way too high so in case if you assume that this system is high config i have 16 gigs of ram so that google chrome takes this test perfectly no that's not the case i've tried the same 100 tab challenge in my old laptop and that has only 8 gigs of ram and even with that 8 gigs google chrome managed to open 100 tabs and here's the proof for that the cpu load is relatively low it's just around 10 to 20 percent google chrome perfect 100 tabs now it's time to put Mozilla Firefox into that 100 tab ultimate stress test. And as the same, the vitals of my system before opening the tabs is the same between 2.5 to 2.6 gigs of RAM consumption and 3% to 4% of CPU load. So now is the time to put Firefox in that same stress zone. 
so the same hundred web pages or same hundred websites and instead of Google Chrome I now have Mozilla Firefox open so let the hundred tab challenge for Firefox begin in the initial stages the first three tabs you know for just three tabs it took it pretty well and then the same 1080 pixel video I play the same thing and when I moved on to the next tab it suffered a little bit to display some of the images but Google Chrome took it pretty well. Google Chrome displayed all the images but Mozilla Firefox struggled a bit. Inside the next tab it displayed all the images and it was perfect. The most surprising thing here is that even after opening just 15 to 20 tabs, Firefox started to expose a lot of lagginess. Lagginess while scrolling, lagginess while displaying some kinds of images and things, but still it took it well. And when I went into Electronic Arts, that is EA, you know, the game developer's website, it took a long time to load that. So I tried to refresh the page and still it kept loading so then i kept refreshing it again and again and again and at the third try after a few efforts it loaded it back it loaded it completely it started to show some weakness even after opening 20 plus tabs so then after loading that page i went i scrolled down and it loaded all the images and components so i went from that one to the next one and the next 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 and it loaded all the web pages with little bit of lag and scroll lags and image loading lags but still it handled it well as the same inside google chrome i played a music inside soundcloud so then i moved on to the next tab so after loading some kinds of tabs i suddenly noticed that the music is kind of breaking the music in soundcloud started to break and it started to uh, miss a bit so i waited for a while and I opened the tabs again and the music reloaded again and it played but the music started to break even after opening 30 plus tabs. Inside Android Authority's web page, it has infinite scroll plugin and lots and lots of images and Google Chrome took it well but Mozilla Firefox exposed a severe weakness. It lagged a lot to display all the images and it lagged even a lot to load all the web components in the infinite scrolling stage. I started noticing a weird thing when I reached the halfway mark in Firefox, that is the Google I.O. website. It failed to display that, my, my favorite thing, the, those spiral lines, it failed to display those spiral lines. So, so it's a bit disappointing. So I left that and moved to the next tab and I continued from there. So even after the halfway mark, that is even after opening 50 tabs, this browser revealed lots of weakness while loading images, while loading some components, even while loading GIFs and things. So I expected it to break after 60 tabs, but it took it well and it continued from 60 to the other tabs. And after running that speed test using speedtest.net, the lagginess began to expand. The browser literally stopped working after opening two speed test tabs simultaneously. So I waited for a bit and it loaded it again. So inside that Google mobile friendly test, it took some time and to my surprise, my unoptimized website loaded faster inside Firefox when compared to Chrome, it loaded faster here. It's a bit of an upside for Firefox in this case, but still it failed to load some of the fonts immediately. It took some time to load the fonts. So I went from that tab to next and after opening 70 plus tabs, it started to show lots of lagginess inside google chrome web store it suddenly skipped some of the components it suddenly stopped working so i waited there a bit and i skipped to the next tab and the real thunder hit firefox when i opened google docs 
that is the presentation of Google slide inside Firefox when I opened that it stopped it completely stopped working and the SoundCloud music playing in the background completely stopped I heard nothing while opening this Google slide tab it took more than a minute to load all the components all the slides and even after loading all the slides whenever I tried to place the cursor on a thing whenever I tried to move a thing it stopped again so I haven't put more pressure on that browser so I waited for a bit waited patiently and even after that it it never showed any improvements I thought that this is only the problem with the Google slide tab so I closed it and I opened the other successive tabs but even after loading two to three extra tabs Mozilla Firefox stopped working completely so at that point I decided that the threshold for Firefox stress test is only 73 or 75 Chrome is the winner at this point. It loaded all the 100 tabs with no problem and and one thing I noticed here is it consumes only less amount of RAM. Uh, Google Chrome consumed 10.5 gigs of RAM but here in Firefox case it consumed only around 5.8 or something. But to my surprise it's a shocking thing. Firefox utilizes your CPU a lot. The CPU load is more than 45 to 50 percent and in case of Chrome it utilized only around 10 hours or 20 percent so here it's high. I closed Firefox with task manager then I opened Firefox again and I loaded only up to 70 tabs again. In 70 tabs it worked somewhat perfectly. It showed no lags, it showed no bumpiness and things, it displayed all the images, it played the video perfectly. I display all the web components perfectly and 70 tabs is the limit for Mozilla Firefox. Uh, it doesn't make Mozilla Firefox a bad browser. You're not going to open 100 tabs all the time but still when you compare it to Google Chrome, Firefox lags a bit. It's the true fact even if you're a Firefox fanboy you can go, you can roast me in the comments but still it's the truth even if you want to test it out yourself I will add all these 100 same links in the description, load all the 100 websites in both the browsers and test which is working for you. In my case Google Chrome performed well even in a high end system and in my low end laptop with just 8 gigs of RAM. So Google Chrome is the winner of the ultimate 100 tab challenge. That's it. I hope. You got some idea from this video even if you disliked it go ahead give me a thumbs down if you want to see or enjoy more videos like this subscribe if you are already a subscriber thanks for subscribing i'll meet you guys and girls in the next one till then it's bye bye from ATS stars bye